Come on. Got it. Haha. -ha. Hi everybody. Good day to you and welcome back. This is a 2006 Toyota Yaris little Econo box and a customer stage vehicle does not start. Let us duplicate their concern. Agreed. Vehicle does not start. We're low on electrons. Let us pop in the hood. See what's up. Let's see what we got going on here. Hmm. We've been jump started before. Okay. All right. Let's see what we can do about this uh, not starting condition. Begin supplying auxiliary electrons now. Sorry for the shadow. Okay. Let's see what happens. Hey, hey, it lives. All right. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Solve the problem. See you guys later. Have a great day. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't draw you guys in here just to do that to you most days. Let's go ahead and uh, limp this thing into the shop. Oh, by the way, while we're in transit, we've got 103,583 miles on the odometer. Let's get some circulation going here. Cotton Sparrow. All right, we're there. Caption powering down. Right, let's get rid of this thing. It has served its purpose. Okay, so the plan here will be to charge this battery and then uh, test it and see if it's any good. There we go. Let's see, 11 volts. Let's charge it a bunch. How about 12 volt, 10 amp? No, next one. Begin charging now. Start. Let's see what we got here. Okay, it's feeding it some amps. We're two, three, four, good. All right, I'll be back when this thing is done. Stand by. So uh, while this battery was charging, I wanted to do a inspection on a few things and I've already found a deficiency in workmanship. Somebody has uh, replaced this engine air filter, which is still good, but uh, they forgot to put the lid back on. So I'll just finish that job right now. It's not that hard, you just push the little clip things down in there. Try this in. Look at that. You go in, you push it down, you clip it on. Operation complete. Okay, that charger's been charging for about an hour now. Let's go ahead and shut it down and uh, run a test on this battery. Charger powering down. Come here. Hey, Razor. See what we got here. All right, it did take a charge. It's got voltage again. Enter, battery, uh, what do we got? It's like 550, cold cranking amps. Begin testing at 550 cold cranking amps now. Begin test, what? It passed. Let's see if it starts. Okay, it starts. Let's throw a meter on this and see if our uh, our alternator is making a uh, making voltage here. That didn't sound good. Okay, well it starts and the battery took a charge. Let's uh, throw a meter on it and see if we have a uh, charging system voltage. Twelve point six two. That's a negative. Our nader is not nading. I thought this was going to be a battery job, not an alternator job. Yeah, twelve sixty three. Let's throw on some loads and see what it does. It's got midnight. Okay, we've got headlights, high beams, radios on, and blower motor is on full blast, and we're down to 11.98 volts. Our nader is not nading. And that alternator is making a decent bit of noise. You hear that thing singing to us? It's an unhappy charging unit. Okay, time to recommend replacement of the alternator. Stand by. All right, let's go ahead and shut this thing down. Interestingly enough, it's not giving me a uh, charging system warning indicator. Eh, nada. Okay, I've just entered my official documentation on the matter. Jump start and recharge and shop after charging. Found battery is okay. 502 out of 550 cold cranking amps. Alternator is not producing charging voltage and making loud noises. Let's see what they do with this one. Okay, interesting development. So I, uh, I told the, the, the guy and the customer 
and our sales guys that uh, this battery was okay and that their problem is a faulty alternator and uh, the customer would like to replace the battery anyway and then see what happens see what happens um, gravity that's what's gonna happen I predict that nothing is gonna happen and the situation will remain unchanged and uh, we'll see how this works out but guaranteed we're gonna need to put an alternator in this car like that is fact I mean I don't need to I'd like to because that will fix it but I'm not exactly in control of the world these days now rumor has it there's a battery hold down component down there so I'm gonna try to fetch it with a magnet uh, I can't see it but I, I know it's down there I heard it hit some stuff on the way down I'm hoping I can get it without having to take the skid panels and stuff off of this car. But I don't know, man. It's it's far. It's very far. Oh, I feel it. I think I feel something. I don't know what I feel, but I feel it. Oh, man. I had it. I totally had it. One more time. We're on to something here. Oh, is that it? No, I lost it. I think that was my one chance, guys, and, and I lost it. Okay, gravity. I'm gonna make one more attempt to get that uh, that hold down rod out of there. Get in there, get down there, please. I don't know if I got it or not, guys. I think I got it. Oh, I do, I do have it, I see it. It's coming. Excellent. Okay, game on, continuing. There we go. All right, new battery coming in. Let's get rid of that. We can't make a connection with plastic in the way. Of course, we have to clean these terminals because we can't make good connection with corrosion in the way. Nice and shiny. It's gorgeous. Yeah, this one's kind of worse. There's a lot of there's actual powder in there. Goodbye, corrosive elements. Nick. Negative side. Get on there, please. There little stud was misaligned. Click again. Okay, let's get the hold down installed real quick like, and then we can retest this bad alternator. Battery click. Okay, in the interest of thoroughness, I'll just go ahead and test this battery too. Why not? Enter flooded. This one's a 640 cranking amp. We have a capacity improvement. Maybe that'll make the alternator run. 718, nice, good battery. Okay, let's us uh, stop to see. The fall, do do do, 70,000 phone calls at once. Here, check that out. Look at that. Love this. 
12.44 volts. We have no charging system operation here. Still needs an alternator. Okay, back to the well, shutting it down again. Okie dokes. The guy has uh, approved replacing the alternator after having uh, facing irrefutable evidence. So let's go ahead and uh, pull this guy out of here. The new one's on the way. So I'm hoping to get this out before the new one shows up. I have already disconnected the, uh, the negative terminal again on the battery. So uh, I am at no risk of electrical shock. Oh, come out of there. Here it comes. Good. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, well, this cable's kind of in my way. Let's unplug that for some more space to play with. I'm gonna come off of there. Come on, you, this has never been off. Got her. All right. Here, let's get this little cover off here. More pry bar. Please come off. It's Monday, I don't want to fight with you. All right, what do we got? A 10 millimeter. Yeah, we've got the primary cable right here. And then there's a connector to the PCM just below it. We've got to get that disconnected. Then there's the top bolt that we just took off and then one larger bolt at the bottom. We'll get that one last. Connector out. Sorry, you guys can't see. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, we we'll press in right here, releases the tab, and then pull. Alright, that's you go over there, stay out of the way. And we've got one more bolt down there. So it's 14 mil, I think. Let's see if I can get this out with my little ratchet or not. Ooh, was I wrong? Is it 15? No, never mind, I grabbed the wrong socket. Try again. Two bite. There it is. Reverse clickage now. Come on. Here it comes. Whoa, flashlight gravity. Did it break loose or what? The answer is what? It did not. Okay. Okay, no more screwing around. Let's uh let's try this with like a, a real ratchet. This is the uh, the long reach. Oh, it's still not fitting very well. That pulley's in the way. Interesting problems demand creative solutions, like a deeper socket. There we go. Look at that. Now if I can just get a bite on it. Let me move you guys over some. There. You. This is not my day. What's going on here? Mm. Let's try this. Begin becoming loose now. Aha. Got some progress. There. Now that the torque has been broken, we can go back to this little ratchet. This one's a little bit more maneuverable. Oh, did he break his hub? One of our guys got an Audi. And, uh, he cross-threaded his wheel studs. Very unfortunate. But this is how we learn. You gonna come out of there or what? Bolt? Come on. It's like endless threads. And uh, it's all 
all she got. Look at that. Yeah, it's easy. Let's get this one out. That way all the fasteners have been removed. thing in. It's going to relieve tension on the belt so we can get this belt out of here. Oh, I'm running out of space. Oh, reaching around the back side of the motor. Got it. Got the belt. Here it is. Try to sneak this guy out. Um, now this bolt right here is gonna have to come all the way out. So I need to remove this bracket that uh, is bolted to the chassis that holds onto that AC line. This is catch 22 all day, isn't it? Here, you just go back where you came from. What I do? Get it stuck? Sure did. <laughs> no. Maybe it's free. Who is it? Am I going to win? Come on out of there. Now I'm going to have to remove. Uh, I'm going to have to remove that little bracket down there. Ten millimeter time. Again, going in. Oh, I can't get my fingers on it. Such a tight squeeze. Here it comes. Good. Seriously, I, I, I really just did that. I actually dropped that bolt. And the whole time I was telling myself, do not drop this bolt. I heard it hit the skid plate. I'll fetch it later. That's the one we need to remove. Now we can uh, encourage this nader to come out. Mm-hmm, pry bar. More pry bar, it's always more pry bar. Pinching its bracket down there and it won't let go. Got it. Oh, you guys are in the way. You need to move. There. Victory. It's out. Okay. All right, new Nader. So far, so good. That looks uh, identical-ish. That, that connector, let's see, connector looks good. All the little notches are the same. Four ribs on the pulley. This is the uh, correct unit. Beautiful. All right, Nader, you're coming with me. Let's get in there. All right, lower this guy down, same way it came out. I've got the uh, large lower bolt in hand. So when she's lined up, we can just slip that bolt right in. Whenever it gets slid up. Here we go. And I want to run these threads down all the way by hand so I don't have to tinker around in there with a tool after all that stuff is back in place. Get 
click. That's all I can do by hand. Ding! Nader's done. Let's put this little bracket back so I don't forget it. Because if I forget it, you guys are going to yell at me a lot. And that would be bad. Loud oil delivery truck. All right, that bracket bolt is in. You can't see, but take my word for it. Click. Here's our top nader bolt. I'm not gonna tighten that one down yet because this is the one that is used to uh, set the tension on the belt. Went too far. All right, as I mentioned earlier, we have a new serpentine belt. Let's go ahead and sneak this guy down in. I'm kind of working blind. I, I can't really see much of what I'm trying to accomplish here. But uh, we're going to work through it. Yeah, that one goes there, that's for sure. This one down here we go under the AC pulley. That's good. And reaching around to the back, you gotta slip this belt over the uh, power steering pulley, which is a little easier said than done, I think. Oh. I'm bear hugging a four cylinder. Oh, there it is. Hope you guys can see what's going on. Because if you can, that means someone can. And a little farther south, we almost got that on the crank pulley. Almost. Or wait a minute, that's not power steering, I'm dumb. That is the crank pulley. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. home stretch time. Fantastic. Got to get it around the water pump, and that is uh, that's our final phase here. Uh, I'm sweating. Oh, I got it, got it, got it. We're all lined up. Woo! Yep. Okay. Let's tension this belt, torque everything down, and then we'll uh, we'll check charging system voltage. Beginning belt tensioning procedure now. Let me get behind this with some pry bar action. So we'll pry the nader away from the block. Tension has been achieved. Lock it down. That feels pretty good so far. Let's get the bottom bolt. And then we'll connect everything and power it on. You know, so when I do stuff like this and I hold on to the ratchet, I won't hold it with my knuckles down because if this were to slip off, I could jar my arm down and potentially punch something and that's how you, how you break your knuckles. What I like to do is do this open-handed where my fingers are out of line of fire, so to speak, and I just use my wrist to push. That way if it slips, I don't have any body parts in the way of uh, potential damage. plug this back in we don't need that loose anymore and then over here let's go ahead and get the power wire connected if this wasn't so tight what's up man what you need uh i got a dollar um top drawer my blue box top left No, no, the other, yeah, yeah, that one. Okay, see it right there? 
Yep. It's the bank of Ray. Floor Cheetos. Floor Cheetos? Floor Cheetos. Dude, you shouldn't put Cheetos on the floor. I don't know why I'm screwing around with this uh, this little nut so much. I really don't. It's like do things the hard way, Dave. On Friday, I declared today to be Fun Monday, for Monday, and it uh, it turns out it is not for Monday. Very little sort. One cover. There we go. Nice. And we got one connector to connect, and we're good here. All right. Belt feels good. That bottom bolt's tight. That's a good clickage. Uh, let's check the top bolt one more time. Also, good clickage. Let's go ahead and start it up. One finalized reconnect. charging system do your thing okay I do not hear this new nader yelling at us this is good let's go ahead and power up the meter and see what we've got for voltage here well meter gravity yeah hey look at that 14 point uh, 1408 1407 I accept this much better than 12.3, uh, 12.2, 11.8. All right, good. Our new nader's nading. Our new battery is capable of holding lots and lots of electrons, even though we didn't need to replace it. That's what our guy wanted to do. I think we're good here. That's gonna, that's gonna call it a day on this one. Hang on, we're not done yet. Gotta do the spray. We do not want corrosion to occur. Good. Bye, Toyota. I don't know if I did that, but I do know that I'm going to clean it. Because if I didn't do that, someone could say that I did do that. And uh, that's just not acceptable. Hmm. Not brake clean. This is interior component cleaner. Great for plastics. If it's good for plastics, it's not going to hurt the paint. Alrighty folks, that is going to be a wrap. We have successfully repaired the electron production system of this particular Toyota Yaris. In closing, I'd like to say that I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that I enjoyed making this video for you. If in fact you did enjoy this video, please feel free to communicate that to me effectively by tappy tapping that like button down below. And if you didn't like this video, I'm sorry, can't do anything about it, it is what it is. <laughs> but no, in, in all seriousness, you guys, I, I really do appreciate you guys being here all the way to the end of this video. And uh, I sincerely do hope you enjoyed the show here today. So, again, and as always, thank you for watching. And most importantly, do not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. End of transmission now.